Hello, my name's Mark Paulson. I'm a surveyor here in Texas. We get a lot of uh, questions from some of our clients wanting to know the difference between ground control points and checkpoints. Ground control points are typically used to rectify your images that have been processed with PIX4D or other software into a real world coordinate systems. And sometimes it can be a local coordinate system. Typically the ground control points are placed on the exterior edges of your project, along with some in the center of the project. Ground control points should typically not be more than about a thousand to 1500 feet apart. We've kind of found this to be the uh, sweet spot when you're working on uh, projects that you need high vertical accuracy on. Checkpoints are used to verify that what you have done in the field is correct, that your flight is correct, and that your elevations are correct. Checkpoints don't have to be on any certain spacing. It's uh, good to have them somewhat spaced evenly throughout the project. Here is a project we did in PIX4D recently uh, near Austin, Texas. And here are our ground control points. As you can see, I've got eight ground control points and you can see how they're spaced throughout the project. Typically, if you can see over in the right hand part of the screen, I'll zoom in a bit, is one ground control point. They're marked and the project is rectified to these ground control points. Now I'm going to turn on our ground points or checkpoints and you can see that they're just randomly placed. Some of them are placed in the center of a manhole cover. There's really no difference between ground control points and checkpoints other than one is used to rectify the image, the other one is used to verify the X, Y, and the Z. Now we have different types of ground control points. Typically, and the most used will be a 3D point, will be X, Y, and Zs, sometimes also referred to as northing and easting. You can see here in PIX4D, I have selected one of my ground control points, point number one, which is highlighted right here on the screen. And you can also see the coordinates of it. I have an X, I have a Y, and I have a Z. This is what is gonna be used to rectify all the imagery and to get our Zs correct. You will also notice the Y is the northern coordinate the X is the eastern coordinate, and the Z is the elevation. In some cases, you may have ground control points that are only have the X and Y and do not have any Z on them. Zs are sometimes used for surveying, but they're hardly ever used in drone work. At least I don't know of many cases where they're used. Here in PIX4D, we have the opportunity to bring up the ground control point manager, and as you can see, I can change points to a 2D ground control point or to a checkpoint. Now there's really no difference in checkpoints and ground control points, except that the checkpoints are used to verify the work, to make sure that your Zs are correct, and also make sure that your X and Ys are correct in certain circumstances. The Z is generally the most important thing that we're looking for with checkpoints. So here in PIX4D, I have selected point 103, one of my check shots, which was taken in the center of a inlet cover. And to verify that my Zs are correct, I can pick, and you can see the little green dot there where PIX4D thinks the point is. I'll click right in the center of the manhole you have to do at least two images. I'll pick right there. I have 0.79 is my initial error. Keep picking some images. We're down to 0 0.51, 0 0.51, 0 0.07. So I have picked in several images now and I can also use the automatic marking function. So it will automatically mark each lid on this manhole and it drops our error down to 0.04 feet very accurate for the flight. Here is one of our ground control points that we used in the rectification of this project. And as you can see, my error to the initial G GCP position is 0.01 feet. Very accurate indeed, and uh, this was a very good project. The ground control point is nothing more than a paint mark on the pavement, and then it was shot in using uh, survey grade uh, GPS. 
You may get several different types of formats of ground control points. The standard format is a lot of times X, Y, and Z. Uh, this is the format that you'll typically see from people who are not surveyors. You also will get northing, easting elevation, which is Y, X, Z. You need to make sure that you get this correctly or your project's not going to be in the correct spot. And in PIX4D, you will get an error message. And then sometimes you'll get latitude, longitude, and elevation. Uh, this is the native outfit from uh, most uh, survey systems. It'll be in WGS. 84 and the elevation will typically be an ellipsoid elevation. You'll have to apply a geoidal offset to get your orthometric height. Orthometric height is also sometimes referred to as uh, mean sea level. Here in PIX4D are our ground control points and our check shots and this is in uh, NAT 83 Texas State Plains South Central feet. And you can see the X's, the Y's, and the Z's. The Z's have been converted to an orthometric height. Use some software called Leica Geo Office to do this. And uh, you can see here that these are the shots or checkpoints. Surveyors generally refer to points measured in the field as shots. Right now, I'm showing it to you in local WGS 84. And here are our grid coordinates. And you can see in this particular case, it's easting, northing, and ortho height. A lot of times it will be northing, easting, and ortho height, or it could be your ellipsoid height. One thing that is very important in drone work is to know what your coordinate system is and what your expected output is going to be. I hope this video has been uh, informative and you now know the difference between a ground control point and a checkpoint or a check shot. And if you would like to know more information about ground control points, please go to our website, verticalaspect.com. And under resources, we have presentations. And partway down the screen, you will see UAS mapping making the case for ground control points. Hope you enjoyed everything and look forward to doing it again. Thank you.